taught her to look after her mental health and that's where I want us to bring in the self-care as Christians because you know self-care and um, how do we care about ourselves to a point that it doesn't become self-indulgence like I just care and just become very selfish to a point that you don't even care about other people so how can we practice self-care without it becoming self-indulgence so um coming from where you start from mental health you know um when you when you give out so much and you're not acknowledged and you're not receiving back it drains you mm-hmm. so when something like that happens it can it can it can bring in a uh, depression it can come with anxiety so and all of these things are mental health illness Ill- illness you know so um self-care self-indulgence so the bible says that you should love your neighbor as yourself so it means that you love yourself first so you come first in everything everything nobody is more important than you are now i'm not talking about god as i said nobody so nobody is more important so you come first take care of yourself first because at the end of the day everything that we came to this world to meet we are leaving behind most probably you know some people people that you've met here will might some people might go before you but then again everything that that you know we hold dear someday they are leaving so you are very in the scheme of things you are very very important because your purpose is your own your journey is for you god's um you know what whatever it is god has ordained for your life is for you alone to face so whoever is around you you know they are just supporters even when god has maybe when god has placed some people to help your journey they are helpers they are supporters so in the scheme of things you come first Mm -hmm. so there's when you call somebody when you call something uh like let's say like a supporting team it means that the major thing team is that team so the major person here is you so whatever god has put in place to support to help to garnish to you know they are just extras so that's why they call them helper supporter family these friends you know you are the you know you are the price you are the main thing so so we should try as much as possible to care for ourselves you know it is after we have taken care of ourselves that we will be able to you know love other people that we'll be able to give to other people you know it, out of out of the abundance of what you have is when is, is it is from it that you'll be able to give so when 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 nothing is flowing out of you how will you be able to give so now out of the the abundance that god has given to you we should try as much as possible you know to 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 polish whatever whatever god has placed in us in our hands you know to polish it to do well with it so that you will be able to flow whatever god has deposited will be able to flow out and then you'll be able to give to people out of it so when i don't know how um people want to see self in i don't i don't know how people want to see that self-indulgence part Mm -hmm. but at the same time according to the will of god Mm -hmm. just do what is right Mm -hmm. like i said you are your own first priority Mm -hmm. like after god now we are talking about humans so that's why i'm not mentioning god in this order so much Mm -hmm. so you and other people you come first so you are your own first priority it is after you've taken care of yourself that you'll be able to now give to people now when you give give out give out so much everything that you are supposed to use to take care of yourself now so maybe some lives are even entrusted to your destiny or to your purpose now you've given out so much that you've drained yourself now you die so those lives that are attached to to your destiny that are attached to the purpose god has placed into you what do you want to do with them how do you want to you know cater for those people in grave the bible says in the posi- in in the grave there's no hope so in the that position in death in grave 
that's the only place where there is no hope so try as much as possible you know to take care of yourself pay attention to your mental health pay attention to you know your health in general pay attention to every little detail and take care of yourself like i said you are own, you are your own first priority so you come first then others love yourself love your neighbor as yourself you loved yourself first that's why the bible that's that's the order love your neighbor as yourself amen <laughs> it's very important to love yourself and to take care of yourself because the thing the truth of the matter is you cannot pour out of an empty cup mm -hmm. so if the cup is empty how are you going to serve mm -hmm. others mm -hmm. you should take care of your yourself take care of your mental health do not just give 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 and you don't have time to to sit back and just reflect and to just have peace and quiet and meditate and meditate on the word of god and just zoom out if it means that you have to stay off social media for some time do that if it means that you have to stay off some places for a while just to have your peace and sanity that do it it's important and just while showing yourself love while um having take i mean taking care of yourself you just have to remember to put God first because mm -hmm. the moment you take God out of the equation mm -hmm. and you start caring for yourself more than you care about God, God. and your He's calling upon your life, then it becomes self indulgence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the moment God is out of the equation and you start like your love for God starts waxing cold, you have to you, you have to check. You have to go back and check. Yeah. Okay, so um we are moving on to our next um question question of discussion and um how far is too far with the opposite sex like how far like i have a lot of male friends and you know that most times you have to be careful so that you don't feel as if yeah they, they want to start a relationship with you but at the same time you have to be careful so that they don't think that you actually want to start a relationship with them and just like leading them on there are most times that people have male friends and they keep on flirting with them they keep on leading them on but at the end of the day boom you see wedding invitation you know there was this day on facebook someone posted um that um uh, why are so many single people they are not in relationship with what they have heartbreak <laughs> You have to be. Uh, what should I say? They have destroyed their hearts because um, they expect something. They are single. They have a friend, a male friend mm -hmm. or a female friend, mm -hmm. and they are expecting that things to move on to the next mm -hmm. level. But what led to that in the first place? Is it not because of the kind of? So how far is too far? In our so um, yeah. from what you just said, I feel I feel like this uh, has to go out there. It happens a lot to ladies, you know. Most of the time, we are in Africa. Mm -hmm. Guys, they, they make the first move. Yeah. So it happens to ladies a lot when they will just sit and be expecting that the guy is going to maybe like ask them out. Maybe they feel like there's a kind of chemistry mm -hmm. or maybe physics. <laughs> <laughs> but then, my advice is that any emotion or anything that is not communicated is void don't sit down there just move unless it is communicated and you feel the same way and you ask god to so if it is not communicated there's nothing there if it's not um don't even make excuses for the guy don't make don't make excuses for him that like, okay maybe he's not bold enough or maybe if he likes you so much he will find the courage if he has not found the courage and you don't feel like you want to make the first move don't wait don't wait you know a lot of people like she rightly said a lot of people have had a uh, heartbreak due to this you know a lot of people have, have experienced uh, marital delay due to this you know a lot of people have wasted a, a, a good number of their time waiting for their bestie in court mm -hmm. to come out and say that i like you can we take this to the next level mm -hmm. do not wait if he's not communicating that to you don't assume that he wants a relationship it's just your friend mm -hmm. can you not just maintain that that boundary and be friends with him too or her too so if um if you want to if you if he feels like he wants to take the relationship to the next level trust that he's going to tell you if he's not telling you then he doesn't want it don't make excuses just 
you know get on with your life so that you don't attach so much to the friendship and get emotional about everything fine so that's out of the way now so yeah how far is too far i feel like um i don't know if uh, this should really be a thing yeah well it, sh it should be a thing because okay how far is like too far especially when it comes to the conversations that we have with our friends that are of the opposite sex like how far do you take that communication and should you i know it's just friendship but then the and uh, the human body what should i say it's not stone so like uh, avoiding appearance of evil the bible says we should leave from all appearance of okay. evil so um when it comes to our conversations and how we just portray because i'm sure most people have missed their spouse because you you see them moving around with a guy and they are so clingy and Oh, someone will come around and be like, I like this lady, or I like this man, and but that they are in a relationship. So, okay, now I feel like I get the question. So, mm -hmm. whatever it is you're doing with your friend, let it be even in communication, in appearances, let it uh, as let it be as open as possible and platonic as possible. You know, there are some things that uh, your male friends don't have business hearing about you. Mm -hmm. There are some informations that they don't have business with now if it's a female like um same gender friendship it's a whole lot of uh different ball game you know but when it's uh the opposite gender now you know we have to be really careful so that we don't um we don't arouse the other person with the things that we say we don't uh, lead them on making them think that okay from you know from conversations maybe they will start feeling like okay i think she likes me yeah. make sure that at every point in time you you set the boundary you make them know that okay this is what we are going to have and it's not going to uh, uh go beyond this yeah. you know it it is really very important and if there's i don't know very uh blunt person all my life so it, it it has not really been a problem for me when even i have friends that maybe they've at some point in time they've asked to be to be more than friends and i know that i don't even i don't miss the words i come clear i come correct i come straight okay this is what we are going to have this is what i can afford and we are not going to you know go beyond this and it is very important it is and it's very healthy for you to you know a anything can happen at a later time you can also pull it out as receipt that i think i told you this yeah. so let's not if we are going to be having this kind of conversation maybe i will have to step back i, mm -hmm. I, I may not be able to afford this friendship mm -hmm. so know the intention of whoever you are even keeping as friends with. if the person has asked you out before and doesn't want to be friends or friend there's nothing wrong with that so you can just carry your friendship and go so you know it depends on where whatever friendship you are you are you are having same it depends on where it uh emanated from yeah. so you know it's going to be fine yeah that's very important i think from the get go from the very start you have to make it clear that mm -hmm. look we are just we are just friends i think establish a relationship mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. It's not getting nowhere, and this is how this is where I draw the line with certain things. You cannot say this to me. We cannot have a conversation at this time. Mm -hmm. We cannot go to such and such place at this particular time. Mm -hmm. I am not coming to your house. <laughs> Definitely not. Because imagine you, know, you are you are living in like in a warm room space, and someone sees a lady coming from there. Even if there's nothing happening, mm -hmm. you know, you went in. You shut the door and you've been there for like two three hours and nothing happened the moment that lady is coming out you'll be like ah that's his girlfriend even though like nothing happened so in the first place you have to be clear like we cannot be in an mm -hmm. enclosed space because all of that can even trigger feelings mm -hmm. and then maybe the feeling will just be one-sided and boom that's great so i would like to add that people will talk like she said that um you know two people coming out of a one-room apartment people will talk mm -hmm. so as much as possible be plain so even when people talk you know you you will be so you'll be so glad that whatever it is they are saying 
when you'll be so glad when whatever it is they are saying don't hold water when it doesn't even have a basis when you don't have basis for what they are saying so you'll be able to stand and even ask that where is this coming from where did you hear this that you are saying so what makes you jump into this conclusion so by the time you are already coming from one room two of you together you know when people say that i saw you coming out of this room you might not be able to you know there's something they say in yoruba that you might not be able to to bath clean you know to to bath with sponge and be clean but when you, you everything you you are doing is so open is so you know that whatever it is is happening in the relationship in the friendship is open you'll be able to say okay where's this coming from can you explain so and whoever is even talking to when they realize that they don't even have uh, enough evidence or basis for whatever it is they are saying they will just drop it and they will even be ashamed that they insinuated that in the first place very important so it's important to set that boundary with the opposite sex friendship so that both of you will not end up hot because if that person um, has developed a feeling for you and you don't feel that same way that is going to stay in the friendship and you know i have a friend that usually tells me say every relationship that god gives you is because he wants you to maintain it so if god is sending people into your life so that you get connected for fruitfulness for his kingdom mm-hmm. so now do not come and use your love to destroy that one that's got that sex for you. Well, plan. Yeah. you know I, I i i understand that i was telling this man he's my male friend is and he's my very good friend we understand each other we we know what boundaries means and then we respect boundary a lot and i i, I feel like that's what has really kept us even this far so we we say i say some things to him like okay people don't understand that it is not every man and every woman that comes to their life that they are supposed to date or they are supposed to so some some ladies when they see man like this they are seeing husband mm. boyfriend fiance you know we should <laughs> we should really calm down and see what god is planning what god wants to do you know people whether same gender or opposite gender people can take you places Mm -hmm. you know this person that i just mentioned got me my current job so imagine that i had gone to or he had come to ask me out and i've gone ahead to you know Mm -hmm. to be with him maybe would have broken up would not be in good terms would because that's not the purpose of that's not god's plan so even if he's good even if if he's going to get to that stage at a later time be sensitive to know when that is meant to happen don't come and put what is supposed to happen last put it in front mm. or where, whether or not it's going to happen or maybe it's not even part of god at god's agenda at all mm. you now come and put relationship in the force in the front when god is planning get her a job mm. set her up um start something for you know when god you has christ yeah and yeah we are just, yeah, are just you know <laughs> it is well <laughs> i pray that oh i pray that god will help us so that we will not get carried away and mm-hmm. will not lead at, at the same time that we will not lead people on because there are certain times you know you don't like the person as well mm-hmm. you know that this relationship will not happen at all and you know the holy spirit has told you like stop mm-hmm. what you are doing mm-hmm. but then you are still texting the person and flirting with them and just leading them on until you find someone that can carry on from that point which is also very bad so flirting is one of the i don't know i don't want to call it bad habits mm-hmm. but for for a lack of better word i feel like it's one of the something really weird that people do these days some people for no reason for no just reason they just want to maybe they just want to feel good about themselves or they just want to catch fun or they just want to catch cruise Mm. they will now use somebody else's emotions Mm. to catch the cruise so a lot of people have been kind of tricked and forced into relationship because the other person was just catching clues and you you were busy catching feelings mm. and at the end of the day you went ahead to say yes to somebody that was not even asking you out genuinely mm. and then the person that was asking now is hooked and talks like i was just joking mm. but he couldn't even now tell you that he was joking you know 
things happen in this world you know this our generation just just let's just ask god to help us really things are really happening and this thing that i just said it was a thing real life thing that i was told and i was stunned and didn't know how to advise i was just like god what is going on how will what will i say you know someone catching cruise the other person catching feelings you both were catching different things at the same time people don't go out there catching Please, why someone is catching cruise? And then please take care of yourself, set appropriate boundaries, and a uh, big thank you to Sister Pisayo. Thank you, Ho. Thank you, too. Thank you for having uh, me. Thank you so much. This was a really, really lovely session with you. It was absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, too. And um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share this video leave your comments and uh, see you all in my next video mm -hmm. thank you thank you bye, bye.